हेलो एवरीवन कैसे हो आप लोग इस वीडियो में हम एक्सक्रीशन के बारे में पढ़ेंगे तो चलिए टाइम वेस्ट ना करते हुए स्टार्ट करते हैं As discussed in the earlier classes, you are aware of how the uh, gaseous waste which are produced because of photosynthesis and respiration is uh, removed from the body, right? Like that, it's not only the gaseous waste; many nitrogenous waste are also produced because of the metabolic activities. And when these nitrogenous waste are kept inside the body for the longer time, it will turn out to be a toxic and which is harmful for the body. So it has to be eliminated. from the body so this process of eliminating or removal of a harmful nitrogenous waste from the body we call it as a excretion and now coming to the excretory system of human it mainly consists of a pair of kidneys and a pair of ureters urinary bladder and urethra okay so the urine which is formed in the kidney is passed along this ureters okay and it is stored in the urinary bladder for some time and then it is ejaculated out of this urethra and it is no surprise that the basic filtration of kidneys is nephrons okay so these nephrons are responsible for the formation of urine okay and there are numerous numbers of these nephrons in both the kidneys okay which contributes in the formation of the urine okay and this is how the nephrons looks like you could see that there is a cup like structure called as a baumann's capsule and this uh, uh, region which is in the tubular shape you can call it as a tubular part of it and this is how the collecting duct looks like and this is a glomerulus okay and this is a branch of renal vein these are all the capillaries okay and this is also branch of the renal artery okay so here you could see that the branch of renal artery so you could see that the branch of renal artery is entering inside this baumann's capsule right and this blood will enter with the greatest pressure uh, so then the contents of the blood like mainly a plasma amino acid glucose water everything gets diffused out inside this baumann's capsule and then this filtrate so that content you call it as a filtrate okay and this filtrate will run all along this nephronic tube okay where this certain part of the nephron the required materials like i told you right glucose amino acids water everything will be reabsorbed from this blood capillaries okay and then whatever it is left out is nothing but the urine which is waste material which mainly compromises of urea uric acid and many nitrogenous components and it will move along this collecting duct like this many nephrons urine content will be flowed through this collecting duct and utterly it will be connected to this ureter through which the urine formed would be reached to this urinary bladder and it here it is kept for some time okay as urinary bladder is a muscular organ it is under the control of the nervous system so as a result you can control the urge to urinate okay so this is all about excretion in human beings yes so now coming to the excretion system or excretory system in plants they use different strategies in order to uh, remove their waste products okay so if you consider photosynthesis process the waste product as the result of this would be oxygen itself okay and if you consider a respiration process in plants the waste uh, gaseous product is co2 but the co2 is useful material for photosynthesis process right so again this co2 is utilized up by the uh, plants for the purpose of photosynthesis and oxygen which is a waste product because of this photosynthesis is utilized by the plants for the purpose of respiration because in respiration you intake oxygen right and coming to the next uh, waste product is water okay if excess of water is present in the plants they follow a process called as transpiration right so through this transpiration process they will evaporate the extra or excess of water through their aerial paths so this is one methodology or strategy which plants are using to remove the excess contents and also plants will store their waste materials in the cellular vacuoles and in the 
and also in the leaves which will fall off plus they also store their waste materials in the form of gums and resins okay so this is all about the plants excretory system all so, right you got to know that how kidneys are important to our body right they are the vital organs which play a very important role in the removal of nitrogenous waste from the body right so imagine a condition of a person he or she who is suffering from a kidney failure in those kind of a people you know that the kidney will fail to do its function of removing the nitrogenous waste and i already told that accumulation of nitrogenous waste is a toxic and it could even lead to the death right so there is a necessity to remove this nitrogenous compounds from the body so for that what is the solutions that the medical field has given is this artificial kidney so what is this artificial kidney see artificial kidney also acts like a kidney uh, where uh, it has a where it consists of a several line of tubular structures which are suspended in a dialyzing fluid okay and this dialyzing fluid has got a osmotic pressure similar to the blood except it will not be having any sort of nitrogenous waste in it okay so what happens when the patient's blood is moved when the patient's blood is allowed to move inside these tubules okay so this is how the artificial kidney looks like it consists of uh, several tubes which are having a semi permeable lining okay so what they'll do is they allow the patient's blood to pass through this uh, tubes okay which are semi permeable in nature and which are suspended in this dialyzing fluid okay and this dialyzing fluid okay will be having the same osmotic pressure as blood okay apart from having the nitrogenous waste it will be having almost all the uh, contents which are similar to the blood okay and thus what happens between the blood between the patient's blood and this dialyzing fluid there happens to be a diffusion process so thus the nitrogenous waste from the patient's blood will be diffused to this dialyzing fluid and the good blood is pumped back to the patient's body and this dialyzing fluid is often recycled i mean like used up dialyzing fluid is collected in one jar and the fresh dialyzing fluid will always be pumped inside this artificial kidney okay so this is how it the a process of dialysis takes place okay so this is how the artificial kidney is used to remove the nitrogenous waste from the uh, patient's body whose kidneys has been failed so this is how the artificial kidney works like. if you find this video useful please like share the video also do not forget to subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon thanks for watching bye, bye,